On the 5th of April 2024, Universal Studios updated universalukproject.co.uk to include a whole plethora of information on the potential theme park and resort project planned for Kempston Hardwick, just outside of Bedford in the UK. The site confirms that feasibility and due diligence have been taking place, and the fact that the project has reached this step suggests that they are in the process of getting the answers that they wanted from them. Now, Universal needs to get local residents on side, because opening a huge theme park and resort is a big deal. Not just for those in the immediate area, but also those in and around Bedford and the wider region. As part of this, Universal will be holding two public consultations with residents over the next couple of weeks, with attendees invited to share their thoughts via a form. This information will then be put together and business people in suits will sit around a big table, presumably while drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, and decide whether or not to go ahead, based on the results of the feasibility and due diligence studies and the public consultation and the PDF document that Universal has added to the site is thorough. I suggest you all take the time to pour through its contents in detail. I'll link to it below. But there is a lot. And if you don't want to read the equivalent of War and Peace for theme park and planning nerds, I'll do my best to summarise some of the highlights. But if you are local and do plan on giving your thoughts, I'd suggest you do give it a proper read for yourself before giving feedback. The document starts by highlighting why Bedford, and highlights how the 476 acres of land that they've purchased is ideal from a transportation point of view. We've already covered the roads, rail and airport links on this channel before, so if you haven't already, check out those previous videos on the topic. As part of bringing people to the resort, there are going to be major infrastructure changes to the area. This includes, as we've highlighted before, combining the Stuart B and Kempston Hardwick stations into one brand new station within the Universal site. There will also be a brand new train station built on the main line just outside the village of Wixhams. We also get confirmation that there will be a brand new slip road built from the A421 dual carriageway meaning that traffic will bypass villages such as Wixom's and Stewartby. This will go a long way to preventing tailbacks and congestion around local roads and busy junctions. A dedicated junction will be ideal. There will also be other roads in and around the resort, including a new road from the B530 that goes along the outside of the northern parcel of land, and down to a new roundabout by the existing Kempston Hardwick station. This is extremely positive from an infrastructure point of view and seems to bear in mind the impact to locals with this investment not put in place. From their research, they expect between 35 and 40% of visitors to travel to the resort via train, hence the huge investment in new stations. 35% of guests would arrive by car and the remaining 25 or so percent would arrive by public transport. Another important consideration for locals is being a good neighbour. There's a nature reserve fairly close to the site, and Universal are already in discussions with them about how they can help, such as through the planting of trees and landscape screening. The document also highlights that the feasibility studies aren't yet complete, and archaeological studies will take place to make sure a roller coaster isn't built on top of an old Roman fort or something. It also states that no component within the resort will exceed the height of 115 metres. That's 377 foot. Now, I cannot for one second imagine that any rides will get even remotely close to that height. But it is interesting to see that they have quoted that figure specifically. It also states that the tallest occupiable building would be 75 metres, which is 246 feet. And, as we might expect, the document highlights that Universal will look to employ construction and park staff from the local area, and there will be as many as 5,000 construction workers on site during the peak of the construction. And now for the information we're all chomping at the bit to know. What will the resort actually look like? Well, 
we won't get specifics about the park layout for quite some time, but we do know what the resort is likely to look like. As you can see from this map, the entire site is broken down into several colour-coded areas. TP is the theme park, which covers around half the southern parcel of land, marked by TP and TPS. HT and RDE are hotel and retail dining and entertainment, in other words, City Walk. RS is Rail Station, the perfect location for this and serves both Universal Studios and Stuart B. CPS is Surface Car Park, so no multi-storey, which is also highlighted later on in the document, although if they do choose to build one at a later date, it will be no taller than 40 metres. TH is Transport Hub, so bus stops, taxi ranks, etc. And finally, TMP is Temporary Construction. So that's where all the messy bits will be during the construction phase. Shifting over to the northern parcel of land, and we also have more temporary construction and restoration areas, which makes sense as this land is less obvious as a starting point for the resort. In the future, the northern parcel is listed as mixed use, which presumably will be more hotels and potentially a water park or smaller second gate park in the long term. Let's just take a moment to look at this and marvel, because when we found out this news six months ago, we did not think under any stretch of the imagination we would get this much information this early on. This is all incredibly exciting. Just this week, we saw the rumblings of activity on the site, but now we have our first look at what this potential resort might actually look like. As I mentioned, this document is absolutely massive. There is so much to go through and so much that could be unpacked that I'm not sure this initial video could ever possibly cover it all and do it any form of justice. Over the coming weeks, we will dive further into the document and attend the local planning meetings to get a full understanding of what the resort has to offer. But initially, this all looks incredibly positive. As I say, just six months ago, even the thought of Universal Studios in the UK was nothing short of fantasy or a pipe dream. But here we are, we are looking at plans for what Universal Studios wants to do in the UK. This is something none of us ever thought we would see. And this is far from a green light, but it is a step closer than we have ever been before. Let me know what you think in the comments below to these plans and where you see the future of this resort. What do you think the response will be from local people to these plans and the planning meetings? Let's all go away and read and reread and reread again these documents and try not to get too excited for what might be coming in the future at this resort, which, looking at the document, is set to be around 2030 or 2031. So what do you think? For more information, please do comment below, subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that good YouTubery stuff. This is all incredibly exciting. I don't think I've mentioned that so far yet in this video. And I cannot wait to find out what happens next. And until then, see you next time.